previously. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no no way. Come on! Were we seven in a row? On Progression Series Season 2. <laughs> this is not real! No! Oh my <laughs> How do you feel about it now? I I just lost my monitor. Where's it? Where's my monitor? <laughs> That is a very nice, swift scarecrow. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, Round, we'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code CMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Yeah! I had to bring out Old Reliable to be able to give Alex the Smackdown final countdown. What the hell is he thinking, bro? That ain't gonna make the cut. Happy to reclaim the winner's circle yet again this episode. Let's hope we can maintain it for a few episodes, too. I get the wheel again. Historically, we haven't had good luck. Let me just hit it, see what we get. You gotta mute, bro. No, I'm not, I guess you can't mute it. All right, please, anything big, anything big. An unbanned ticket. Oh my God, I get to remove something from the list? This hasn't come up in a very long time, bro. I can't wait to see what I'm able to take off. I don't have to pick it this week, though, so we'll decide next week exactly what I want to bring back. The possibilities? Quite literally endless. I could bring back anything. I'm just happy it is not a wild card rare. It is a step up. Today's set is another Hidden Arsenal set. Hidden Arsenal 5. I'll let Alex tell you guys all about it. Okay, so maybe, just maybe, I got a little bit too cocky thinking uh, we were going to be able to cheese a win last episode with Final Countdown. I honestly think if I played Chain Burn instead, we would have walked with it, but it is what it is. Uh, we're moving on to another side set in Hidden Arsenal 5. I got excited for a moment because I thought this was uh, a different Hidden Arsenal altogether. That's a little bit further off. Off. But uh, this set, I'm not really sure if there's too much here, but we'll cover it anyway. Released December 1st, 2011. We're already at the end of 2011 in the progression series. It seems like uh, it's just flying by, but we have some support cards here. So we've got support for Gem Knights. We've got Laval cards. We have some Vylon support. And uh, we even have stuff like Gishki and even Gusto in here as well. And you can look at a lot of these cards in here. I guess I should also say Steel Swarm because I completely forgot to mention that. You can look at a lot of these cards and there's a reason why pretty much every card in here except for like Gem Knight Guard Garnet and Gem Knight Fusion. Really haven't seen play. I guess Gishki Shadow. I, I shouldn't, you know, overshadow a lot of these cards because like some of them have seen some play, but uh, not many. Coming on down to the secret rare section here, like some of these cards are cool, but I just feel like none of these are really good enough to stand up to some of the strategies that Gage and I already have access to. There is the chance that maybe like Gusto is on the table because I think if we pull a high enough density of those, that might be the most playable archetype we have in this set altogether, but we'll have to see, right? A lot of it just depends on if we can pull the right cards, and uh, that's the name of the progression series. So before we get into that, we do have to open three packs of Turbo Pack 6 for losing the last round. I gotta be honest, I don't know what's in here because I haven't lost since Turbo Pack 6 has been on the table. So let's just see what we get. Uh, Armory Arm's not bad. Gemini Spark, Fusion Gate, we probably already have those in all honesty. Second pack, great. Basically the same pack plus Bountiful Artemis, which was a common, so that's nothing new. And uh, Stardust Dragon, ooh, Kinetic Soldier is actually pretty sick, but unfortunately, uh, probably not too useful right now, but it's nice to have a, just have that on hand. Third Stardust, though, isn't the worst either. Uh, let's get cracking with 24 packs of Hidden Arsenal 5. All right, today we have Hidden Arsenal 5. I always really liked the Gusto monsters. I really like the artwork. The deck never really did anything, man, but I really, really dug the artwork. We got 24 packs, HA05, Steel Swarm Invasion. God, bro, this set is actually trash. Let's see if we can get some. Let's see what we grab, you know? Maybe, maybe we get lucky. Who knows? Flip it up. Of all the greater. Gishki Abyss. Look at that price, man. $17.87. Recently good with some new sprite support and some new Gishki monsters released, but that deck never really ended up doing anything either, man. I really like this artwork. It's a shame. What a boss, man. Gishki Abyss. Next pack. Another Gishki Abyss and a Cam Serenity of Gusto. 
like I said, man, really like the Gusto artworks. This was one of the cool ones. This is one of the better um, Gusto monsters as well. Once per turn, shuffle two Gustos from the graveyard in the main deck and draw a card. I'm pretty sure there's like a degenerate FTK tied with this in Mind Master. Hopefully Alex doesn't pick up on it. Ooh, that'd be really disastrous. Another Abyss, dude. We're swimming in it. Swimming in it. I think Ishiki Mind August had some also FDKs tied with it, I think, with decking out your opponent. Is that what this did? No, this was uh, the way to shuffle them back. I think it was Gust Kraken would loop your opponent's hand or something like that. Your opponent would end up with zero cards in hand, and you're not playing the game with that. The original Garnet, bro. Gem Knight Garnet. Every single Steel Swarm card is bummy, bro. There is not a single good Steel Swarm card in the entire archetype. You want to talk about decks with deck identity? This one just literally has none, dude. I don't think it does anything cool. Tribute two Steel Swarms, and then you get to do one. You get to wipe all monsters or all spells or traps. Whoa, bro, look out. So looking here before we get into the opening, I think I was more excited for Hidden Arsenal 6 or 7. I think 7 has all the Evil Swarm stuff and possibly also the Constellar stuff, but the Constellar stuff might also be in 6. I'm going to have to double check that. But 7 is a great Hidden Arsenal set. I think that's going to be a lot of fun for progression series when we get there. But that's not what we're doing today. We've got 24 packs of Hidden Arsenal 5. Honestly, I'm just hoping for the Gusto stuff or any generic synchros that we could use in the future. Gem Knight stuff would be pretty good, but I think we're going to need to get extraordinarily lucky to get all that. Flip up the first pack. Well, there's a Digusto Synchro. Guess I got what I asked for, and Gem Knight Fusion. We played the Steel Swarm stuff in History of Jank one time, and that was a miserable experience. I just genuinely don't think this archetype is good enough for Prog. Okay, there's Digusto Eagles. Uh, we're, we're getting like the secret rare synchros. I think there's a few other secret rares that we would have to pull to even consider this. I'm kind of ignoring the super rares because in Hidden Arsenal, it's pretty likely we're going to pull almost play sets of everything, but uh, this is the slot I'm focused the most on here. Second Mind August, whole bunch of vanillas, the Tourmaline and another Garnet, okay. I think that's my second, like, Eagles and stuff like that. I don't think these are the Gustos I'm looking for. I'm pretty sure some of the better ones besides Cam comes out in Hidden Arsenal 6. So we're about halfway through here. I think one of my issues with this set as well is that there isn't like one big generic synchro payoff like pretty much every other Hidden Arsenal set has, right? Like Hidden Arsenal 4 has Trish and then the earlier ones have like Naturia Beast and even some other cards, right? Where this set just doesn't really have that big synchro payoff. And even if you're not playing any of the five or six archetypes in this set, th there's not that one chase card, I feel like. Vylon Epsilon. You want to talk about another disappointment, man? The entire Vylon... Archetype, I think. <laughs> oh my god, did this archetype end up being like an FTK type thing too? I'm pretty sure it was something like similar to what you would see on Master Rule Now, where people end up like equipping the Staff of Silence and something else to a monster, and it would either just like, I think it FTK'd them or like gained a whole bunch of attacks. Something stupid, bro. Terrible archetype, man. The cube, though. Violon Cube has been uh, an important part of some decks, though. When you use it for a Synchro Summon of Light, add an equip card from deck to hand. This has come up like once or twice where like there's just a generic light you would Synchro in, and then grabbing any equip from the deck can lead to some silly stuff. Smoke Grenade of the Thief is a common for a long time, dude. You never know, man. You never know. The Bylon Cube. All right, coming up on the last few, I, I think I've pulled like five Bylon Sigmas. Anything big in the close here? Another Mind August. It's like a third Mind August. I don't know if Gust Kraken's in the next set. It might be. This hit in Arsenal was nothing... Too special, man. Nothing really to look at. Would've been nice to get a couple more cams. We walked away with three Abyss, though. That's pretty neat, I guess, right? Maybe that comes up later down the line. Who knows, bro? Who knows? We'll save it to the collection. This is not worth re-rolling. Let's get the building. Coming up on the last few packs here, and I gotta be honest, there hasn't really been a whole lot to talk about since, like, there's not many interesting things in here that we're looking for that are gonna change anything, at least for the foreseeable future. Like, picking up Gem Knight Garnet for Brilliant Fusion, obviously, once we get all the way into, what is that, the Dark Illusion, I think, is when that set is, or that card's release. Like, that's good, but, you know, it's not gonna matter for, like, five years. Uh, okay, that's gonna do it. I think that's, like, our ninth Lavaval Dragon. This card's actually, like, decent, but, uh, Gage banned my Flamvel Fire dogs, which is one of like the best fire support cards that I have. So that sucks. Uh, that's not going to be on the table this time. I don't think I'm going to respin this. There's like nothing really too great in here. So we'll just save it. And uh, let's see what we're building for today. Imagine the chaos deck is like the fire axe behind some like glass, right? We had to break it last episode to make sure we can break out of our lose streak. We did it successfully. So we can put the chaos deck back for now. Instead, Let's play something pretty fun, right? Let's play uh, this Naturia Cat list that was sent to me by I Wish I Was Dead. Always feeding me the most interesting lists here. This seemed like one of the most unique of the bunch. Utilizing one of the most powerful cards in our arsenal, Rescue Cat. Able to pull out some new cards in our arsenal that we didn't quite have before. Wind Up Dog is a card that we can pull off of the Rescue Cap. It can bump its level up by two to make it a five. You can use that to tune with, you know, Air Bellum to make it eight. 
pretty unique on its own. Another really cool thing is that the wind-up dog is also an Earth. It plus Air Bellum is going to give us a Naturia Barkeon busting through most of Alex's back row. If we use it and see Koala, we can actually make Naturia Beast turn one. Still a plethora of just some of the most powerful spell cards we have in the game. Of course, we don't have the Haymakers that have been recently banned with our mutual list, but there's more than enough to go around to be able to make sure our Summoner Monks, which is at two, is live. We still have the Magical Scientist package, which is as good as ever. You know, we got to see the power of it last episode, not in full swing, where it could also count as removal with cards like Andreas and Tiras, but uh, we did get to see two full OTKs with the deck. I know a lot of people ended up saying they were upset that Magical Scientist stuck around, but you know, it's one of those things that we really wanted to witness its power and see season two, both of us. So uh, now that we've pretty much seen it, I fully expect Magical Scientist to not stick around for too long. I expect the next band ticket to be used swiftly on him. But you know what? While we can, let's enjoy the Scientist, man. I enjoy OTKing Alex with the summon of a single level one monster. It's pretty unfair. This list altogether seems pretty well equipped to be able to deal with most anything. I'm hoping the combo of Beast and Barkeon can pull a lot of weight. Those cards are in a class of their own in this current level of Yu-Gi-Oh! So maybe we can see a lot a free win from there. Just depends what Alex decides to queue up today. I guess I shouldn't keep you guys waiting. Let's go find out what that is. Okay, I gotta be honest. It took me a while to come up with this list. Uh, Chaos just sort of seems to be the best deck, but I know if I play that deck again, you're all probably going to murder me. So I came up with this instead. And for what it's worth, I think this is actually kind of cool. I didn't get to play with Drill Warrior all that much before. I think Gage took a crack at this like, I wanna say four or five, six episodes ago. So I figured I'd give my fair share with this as well. So let's do the card by card. We're playing like Quick Draw Doppel minus the Dandelion, which kind of sucks, but this deck still playable, I think. So let's do the card by card. I'm playing Battle Fader just almost as a necessity at this point, because with Gage being able to Magical Scientist OTK out of nowhere, I feel like we basically need to have some insurance against that. So that's here for that. We are playing BLS. There's no other Chaos Monsters in here, but we have a sufficient amount of lights and darks. So I think it's okay. Kais is just another bomb. Uh, card Trooper, I think, is better than Raikou in this deck, because I'm trying to be aggressive. The problem is I only have one Card Trooper, even though it's at two, so we can only play the one. Uh, same thing goes for Doppel Warrior. Only one of this as well. This isn't as good as it could be, but I think you're being able to like search this with Rhoda, only the one is fine. I also think Triple Veiler's mandatory now that Scientist is like seeing such a prolific like use in the progression series. So unfortunately, this is just kind of a necessary evil, but it's just a good card, so I don't really care too much. Bulb, only one Junk Synchron. I have other normals and I don't really want to waste them on this, so that's why we're only on one of it. Level Eater's an incredible card. Same thing goes for Magical Scientist. I still don't have an 8,000 damage OTK with this card, and if I played it in this deck specifically, I'd have to dedicate nine slots just to be able to play this card for that OTK, and I don't think that's worth it. I think having the Synchro Toolbox is a little bit stronger. I'm just going to use Scientist for Utility. There is a scenario where I get to, like, summon all three of these and, like, sync them all off into three different Synchros, and that'd be pretty sick, but it's not going to be, like, game-winning in, in terms of the actual damage it'll cause, but it'll be pretty strong. Uh, Plague, we got Triple Quick Draw, Double Raikou, a Sangen, Double Thunder King, a Treeborn. This is just a level one to go with Quick Draw so we can get into Drill Warrior a lot more easily, and Triple Volcanic Shell for the same reason. So this is sick because if we pitch this, we can just immediately add another copy going to Drill Warrior. We then have a pitch for the Drill Warrior as well to get anything back. The spells is just more good stuff. Brain Con, Dark Hole, Triple Instant Fusion, Mind Control, Triple MST, one for one. Of course, it gets a Scientist or any of the other level ones. A lot of level ones in this deck, actually. Uh, Pot of Greed and then Rhoda. And we're on Triple Threatening War in here as well. Again, Gage has a lot of OTK potential, and I like the ability to sort of like kind of blank some of his cards. And if he tries to go for a big push and we just like flip this, his turn kind of skips and then we can just kill him on the crackback. So I want to give this a shot. This could be like Econ or like Crow or Side or anything else else, but I think especially if I don't know if I'm going first or second, this is a card I want to have in the main. For the extra, we have Deep Sea Shark for uh, both Gungnir as well as Tyrus. Don't forget that Quick Draw Synchron is, of course, a level 5, so that works there. Uh, Carbonla Warrior, we could go into Nap Beast if we have Glow Up Bulb, and I think that's still strong enough that it's probably worth dedicating a slot to that. Thousand Eyes is, of course, fantastic. Then we have Cataster, Armory Arm, Black Rose, Brianak, Double Drill Warrior, don't think we need three. Formula, uh, the Gungnir, the Junk Warrior, Nap Beast, Stardust, and, of course, Tyrus. And then the side, I've just got some, like, bigger bodies in case Gage is playing like a much, you know, higher impact deck in terms of like how strong the monsters like sort of position themselves against mine. So I've got double Sidra. If he's on Chaos, we've got triple Crow, triple Kaiku, double Econ, double Dust, and triple Trapson. He banned Royal Decree from my pool a few episodes ago. So I have this weird hunch he might try to play some like just cheesy back row deck, but we'll, we'll just have to see. So hopefully this fares well for us. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to go, but I'm excited to play it nonetheless. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel.
Well, 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 Gage. Uh, not really much of an arsenal we're going to be packing this episode for Hidden Arsenal 5. Uh, I, I was saying, I think the most frustrating part of this set is that there isn't, like, a big, like, big-ticket synchro monster that we're chasing in this set. It's kind of just, like, seven different Hidden Arsenal archetypes all in one, and uh, none of them are very good. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you said it best, bro. Really, none of them are that great. Um, Gusto really never did anything besides have, like, a poopy FDK tied to it. And then uh, Gishki had a poopy FTK tied to it. Man, see, and then and Steel Sword was just bad. And, and then like, Gem Knight had a poopy FTK tied to it. It did. I'm seeing a pattern here, man. Coder, Coder's going to be livid when he hears that. <laughs> da, to be fair, I think the Gem... Ooh. Actually, which one of those was the best FTK? I think probably the Gishki one, in all honesty. That one had, like, one of the I, highest success rates. I think so. I think the Gem Knight might have been the best one, though, in its time frame, right? When when you Modern, got, like, the yeah. Gem Knight Quartz and stuff like that, because yeah. that Link monster was crazy. That's Not true. quite there now, though. We have just the... No. Uh, Gem Knight Fusion. <laughs> well, we got Garnet. We got actual say, at Garnet. At least we have Garnet for when we get Brilliant Fusion in uh, 2046 when this series concludes. But, you know, <laughs> it's fine. It is what it is, I guess. Yeah, catch the Clash of Rebellions episode two years from now. <laughs> no. You guys don't want to miss it. I, don't think, <laughs> I think it's going to be longer than two years. That's the sad part. We're at the end of 2011, though. I don't know if you realize that. It's crazy how I, fast time's going by. I still can't believe we're in the XYZ era, man. In yeah. season two, bro, I feel like we breezed through all the other uh, the sets there. Except now, since we're doing more sets we take a break from actually having exceeds monsters every other set but in any case we'll get back to exceeds monsters next week when we get to order of chaos buddy i know you're itching to play and so am i let's shout the patron solomon china thank you for the support china china apologies if i put your name Let's go ahead and roll the die. I know we're not going to have an exciting rock, paper, scissors like last week. It's impossible. I'm looking for a tactical win. I, oh, all right. <laughs> I was, was going to say, it's going to be a one shot. Uh, you got it, though. We'll see what I you I appreciate pick. it. I appreciate it. Uh, I, will, I will go second. It seems to just be the move, and I've died a scientist, so I'll take it. Best of luck, buddy. All right, man. Let's see how we do. Stand by main. Why are you so nervous to make a play, buddy? I don't I don't know, man. It's like I got now that I have all of these options in my hand, I don't know which one's the best one to make, right? We need to go back to summon Legin. I need to make the game. <laughs> I, 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 this, this is too much for me, man. Okay, yeah. All right, I'm just going to set a monster, and I'm going to pass my turn to you, Alex. Thrilling game. You one, know, you yeah. always give me shit for these boring openings. And so, like, and you're over here just setting one and passing. Well, okay. when when I see these boring openings, they're normally accommodated with one of two attributes, Alex. Like, or like light or I dark, guess that's so. true. I guess that's true. I mean, are we going to see the same from you? You were, <laughs> you were just shitting on me last episode. Oh, you're going to play this deck. Simo plays Chaos. You're going to play that deck. Simo plays Chaos. And then look what you brought last <laughs> week. I'm sure the fans loved that oh, experience. Oh, I'm yeah, sure. bro. You and know they're probably going to love this week, too, the way by your life. Laughing. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna think. There's like a bunch of things I can do. I'll tell you what, Gage. Uh, I was just talking all that smack. I'm just gonna T set. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. You got it, dude. I'll draw a stand by main. Okay. See what you got. I imagine you got something going now. I, I got turn. some. You have oh, a yeah, battle I phase. I mean, I, I I don't see a better choice. I, I don't I don't know what you're playing, but I don't see a better choice. I'm gonna summon magical scientist. He ha he just opens this card like uh, it's his he job. I did this three crazy. episodes I in know. a row. Honestly, bro, I, I drew it for turn. And I was like, do I want to just slam this down? It seems kind of yes, disrespectful, but I'm like, yeah, it seems kind of really good too. So I'm going <laughs> to go to pay a thousand. Is that all right? That is fine. I'll allow it. All right. All right. First a thousand. Uh, we'll bring out. All right. I've got it. Uh, I'm going to go for Ojama. Night. Yeah. Oh, look. Hmm, interesting. This is a light monster. Hey, Alex. Hmm. Hey, there. Hmm. Oh, relax. Relax, bro. It's a, it's not a chaos deck until the sorcerer comes out. You know. Okay. <laughs> well, I see a light and a dark on your field, buddy. Just saying. <laughs> I'll pay another a thousand for magical scientist. You know what? I'll pick a different attribute. You got it. Will bro. you? I'm gonna oh, go thanks, cyber thanks. Man, Okay. Just the for you, <laughs> Fantastic. We'll take these two. Slap him on. We'll start with uh, the Keeper of the Boundaries, you know? I think okay. uh, that's the best one of the bunch. Is that okay? That's fine. All right. I'm going to pay... Uh, I'm going to shortcut it, hopefully. Another 2000 if that's all right with you. That's fine. Do your okay. Thing. All right. I'm going to go for both of my Dragonists, the Wicked Knights. Okay. I'll take those, put them on top of each other for Leviathan Dragon. Nice card. Really cool card. Um, I'll detach one for its effect. Make it 25. That's yep. fine by me. You want to put a token on it just so we remember? I can do that. Uh, I'll pay another 1,000 for Magical Scientist. Sure. Nice thing is you have that set monster, so I mean, preventing you a little bit. Eh, okay. I'll yeah. flip it up. He's, he's a pretty generically set guy there. Let's see well, if we can... You're not overlaying uh, is my point. Yeah. That, that was what the main point I was getting. I'd be facing down like Adrius or uh, something else here. But okay. Uh, yeah, Tomato's fine. Not quite game in this sense here because 
this tomato was kind of blocking some zones. But this is a, a very commanding board here. We'll go with Balter first because he stops any effect monster. So things like Treeborn Frog stuff just won't come back. What do we got? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it is pretty good because it is Ryko and it will not get it. Oh, that is, that is really, really strong, actually. Okay. I'll follow yep. it up with a 300 from the scientist. Very small punch. This is a lot. It is a so lot. So we got 25, 26, 51, 54, 64, 6,800 points of damage. Holy crap. Uh, we'll battle fader this. Okay. All right. I respect the play. Main phase two. I'll activate Upstart Goblin. I'll take another card off the top of my deck. All right. I'll take another thousand. Okay. And I'll just set one and uh, I will end phase, detach from Tyrus. Pass to you, and then Your the Bolter goes, goes back to the extra. He does. Go ahead. And I'll space the back row. All right. Sounds like a plan. It is my bottomless trap hole. Okay. I'll draw. That's very funny. Let's see if I get phase super one. punished for not killing you that turn. It probably. I, it wasn't the right play to go scientist. I already know it wasn't. All right. Now let's see if I can punish you appropriately here, which I think I can. Uh. Oh, you're only on three K. I can probably just kill you. Yeah. That, that's what I. That's. <laughs> that was the mistake. <laughs> I, I. I forgot. Yeah. That's a thing. <laughs> okay. Let me think about the the most efficient way for me to do this. Oh, you've got multiple ways to do it. I do. I do. I want to make sure that you know nothing weird happens just out of nowhere and I'm not playing correctly because. You know, that could happen. Do you not actually have game? I think I do. I just need to find it. <laughs> there is one small thing that's making it tricky. All right. I'm excited we to see what you got. Have to see. Let me see. It. Yeah, we might just have to see where this goes. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to start by mind controlling your scientist. Okay. Fancy. I like it. He's yours. Now it's our turn to do this. We'll pay a thousand. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna start with thousand eyes. Okay. I'm gonna use thousand eyes to suck up Tyrus. Okay. Uh, so this will go down here. It won't matter too much because it won't be long for this earth anyway. I don't think. Thought you'd be more snappy with it, man. What's your scientist package look like? Thought you would have thought this through, you know? <laughs> yeah, I knew I was always doing this because I needed to take care of the Tyrus. The problem is my tuners are not exactly lining up for this very easily. Oh, okay. Your tuners, you say? Ah, man. Yeah, Get a little tuners. closer look at what you're on here. I still can't quite map it out. See some You'll know goes. here in about three seconds when I actually play my next card. I might just be way overthinking this. I don't know. What, Rhoda. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Rhoda's fine. Junk Synchron. Yeah. Try for Junk Synchron. Yep, that's fine. Get Ryko. Yep. Uh, this has been, this has been brain wracking. I'm please. curious to see it. I'm Holy crap. It. This is, okay. I think, I think I know what to do. It's just not clean in the slightest. Okay, we're gonna go Junk Synchron. We have to get rid of this Thousand Eyes, otherwise we're never doing anything. Uh, we're gonna go for Armor Okay, arm. solid card. Uh, we're gonna pitch Quick Draw for Quick Draw. Okay, yeah. Uh, we'll go this and... You could probably just get rid of your Scientist at this point. Much as I don't really want you to have that back. I uh, will go Drill Warrior. Okay. And we'll just equip the Armory Arm, and then this should just do it here. Unless you have something. No, I think that's that's it. Man, that, that took you a long time to figure that out. <laughs> no, that you... We've never used Armory that's Arm. That's true. That took you a real long time to figure that one out, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's right. Oh, Yeah, you got crap. that. Wow, I, oh, I mega punted that one, I feel like, bro. All right. You were so tempted by the scientist. I, was, I don't you, blame you. You see him in your hand and you're like, that's a level one that's equal to like five monsters. That's gotta be good. <laughs> so, all right. I, I don't even know what to say about that one. I felt like I punted that one, Alex. I, I thought I might've had that one if I wasn't as greedy of a guy as I normally am. But you know what? You Like you said, man, you see the scientist, you really got to play for it's it. So tempting. So, uh, so tempting. Yeah, we'll take this one a little bit more slowly, okay? Yeah. I am going to go second. I'm going to let you go first. Okay. Doesn't seem like your first turn setup's too crazy. Best of luck, okay? Yep, we'll try our best. I almost punted that first one, too. I'm not going to lie, but uh, I guess we'll do our best. Uh, standby main. I've got an incredibly boring turn of set one pass. Be my guess. Hey, man. That's all right. I'll draw for turn. Standby main. Hey, man. We'll kick it off with the Cyber Dragon. Okay. Looking nice. Big 2100. Big, big handsome looking guy too, bro. All right, what's the odds? That is a Ryko. We'll pick it off. I'll summon Air Bellum. Sure. Could do this one of two ways. I could get super aggressive, battle that thing with my Cyber Dragon, and then you'll probably pop the Air Bellum. I'm left with a level five. Alternatively, I could make the Stardust Dragon, and notoriously, Ryko doesn't stack up well against Stardust Dragon. We know that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Usually it doesn't do too well. Can you use Stardust Dragon in the damage step like that? Yeah, you can. It negates the activation, right? You know what? I'm going to play it safe, Alex. We are going to make the Dust Dragon. <laughs> do I make the Dust Dragon? I got super You I got, got super punished, punished for the being very greedy last game, first bro. game. Just yeah, saying. You know what? You, Just you're saying. right. I did get, you know what? I did get punished last game for being greedy. I can't do it again. Yeah. We'll go battle phase with the Stardust Dragon. Let me see the Raikou. It's Raikou. Would you like to negate? All right. All right. I will protect with the Stardust okay. Dragon. And more importantly, that. that also negates the mill effect because it happens all it as does. one effect. So that's important. <laughs> Man, the read paid off. All right, I'll set a Yu-Gi-Oh card, and I will just go to the end of my turn. We'll bring back the Dust Dragon. Yeah, okay. about that. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, let's hope you have the follow-up, man. Good luck. We'll try Good for it. I'll this. draw. Stand by main. Get that Stardust out of here. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, um, I'm feeling pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, bring out this Kaiku for your bottomless. Powerful. No bottomless in sight, though. That's fine. Dimensional prison? Uh, I've got a book of moon. Okay. That'll hopefully sure. steer you off a turn or two there. Sounds good. Uh, in that case, we'll go second main and uh, I'm just chilling. Go ahead. All right, I will draw. Stand by me. Uh, I'll summon my Mystic Tomato, and I'll beat over the Kaiku. You'll clear him. Nice and easy, bro. Looks like we established board control here. Let's see how long it lasts. Go ahead. We'll draw. That's uh okay one. Main one for us. And I got a nice slow little game going on over here. Tell you what, buddy. I'm going to set one. And I'll pass. That's it? All right. I'll draw. Oh, my God. That's the best draw in the deck. Is it named Magical Scientist? No, but it's uh, <laughs> he's a scientist of his own, I guess you could say. Oh, I know you play Battle Fader and stuff. Too, you know? <laughs> I don't know if I feel safe doing all that in the Battle Fader. It happened the first game. <laughs> it did. It did. I, I think I got. I think I got a plan here, though. I'm going to normal summon Summoner Monk. It, that that is a Magical Scientist of sh of sorts. That's yes. what I said. He's a scientist of his own. You know. All right. Uh, I'm going to go activate Magical Scientist. I'll pitch Dark Hole. That is, Matt, that is Summoner Monk, but yes, that is fun. But you know, we're just talking about, like, you know what I'm talking about. They have the same purple, which is kind of funny. <laughs> Summoner Monk, okay? Yeah, you're good. You're good. I will go for another Summoner Monk. Monk, At Monk. Two? This is a two I now, like isn't it? it? Yep. I'll activate that Summoner Monk. I'll pitch Brain Control. Just all the reactive stuff, sure. Here we go. You get to see come all together here. I'll pull out Rescue Cap. Yeah, as soon as I saw the air bell, I figured as much. Okay, sure. Yep. All right, things are going to get scary. Let's go Cap. Go for it. You have a suspicion. I've got a suspicion. What's your suspicion, something. buddy? Imagine that's a second Raikou. <laughs> Imagine how lucky you would be. I don't... Okay, we're going to play... I'm going to play this smart, all right? Okay. I I can't kill you this turn. I got... I got. This is, this is I think, the best play. I'm going to summon... It looks weird. No, don't laugh. I'm going to summon Sea Koala in the defense position. Okay. And an Air Bellum out of the deck and attack. Position. I don't blame you. I think they played this just because it's like a level two beast. So I'm mm -hmm. not too surprised to see this. I'm going to take the two monks. We're going to put them on top of each other for the first rank four. Wind up Zen Meister. Must be nice to have all these Xyz monsters, just saying. Yeah, gains 300 <laughs> attack for each material attached to this card. Damn, that's like a utopia. That's like a, that's like a utopia. <laughs> all right, let's go battle phase. I will start with... We'll just play it safe. We'll just play it safe. Um, I'll go with the Zen Meister in. It is Volcanic Shell. Oh, Hardly a problem, man. I'll put 3,000 in You were worried for nothing. You were worried for nothing. I really was, nothing. bro. I really was. 3,000 direct and Air Bellum will rip this card. Wow, you are the best gamer. In ah, the game. Look at that. Look my. at that. Main phase two will take these two baddies off and synchro them into Naturia Beast, Those bro. Those are Earths. Yep. I hope that's going to be good enough here. Um, Board's looking pretty all right. Go ahead. We're in trouble. Oh, you got to be fucking kidding me. That is so miserable. You had to hit the scientist, too. You had to get the thing. Uh, man, sometimes wow. you got, I have my moments. You know, I have my moments. Because, like, scientist outs an at beast, which is great. <laughs> yeah, but, it uh, does. If it actually outs it, it's only, that's the only way it's good enough. I'll I'll set. I guess I'll pay 500 for shell. Like, I may as well. <laughs> yep, go ahead. And uh, go ahead. All right, man. I'll draw for turn. Stand by main. All right, I will summon wind up dog. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, baby. I'll activate Wind Up Dog. It's now a level five. Okay. Right, we'll, we'll put two on there just to. to 1800 properly. attack. <laughs> 1800 attack. Insane normal summon. That's legit level normal summon. Uh, I will go battle phase here. Combination gets me game. I have a couple of them. I'll put the dog in there. Okay. It is card trooper. I will use the effect. Yeah, draw a card. That's fine. Uh, You got any scarecrows? Any faders? I was hoping no, to no. draw it, unfortunately, <laughs> and I did not right. get there. Woo, oh, game rough. three, bro. That's lucky rough. To, lucky to dodge the scientists. Lucky to dodge the scientists.
know what the last two cards in my hand were, buddy? What's that, bud? Mind control, pot of greed. <laughs> whoa, so, uh, whoa, yeah, whoa. you hit the scientist. My hand was card trooper and mind control. And then I'm like, oh, this is fine. I have scientists. Like, I would have had scientists to deal with the nappy. So then I draw pot for turn on top of it, which nice. is... Uh, Fantastic. Great Yu-Gi-Oh. Hey, man, for it. as many good Spirit Reapers pulls as you've had out of my hand, I deserve I, at least one, right? To be like, fair, I guess fair. when you put it that way, I can't complain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you let me go first. Luck, buddy. I am letting you go first. All right, man. Let's see how it does. Uh, stand by me. Oh, man, bro. You don't sound too happy over there. Um, It's not that. It's just it's never an easy decision. I, I I don't know how like hard I need to meta game you to start winning these games. I or like just rely on the fact I have better Yu-Gi-Oh cards than you. Okay, all right, man. It's not sexy. It, weirdly enough, it's it's been the the play for the last two the last two games. I'm going to set a card. <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna pass. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, go Woo! Ahead. All right, I'll draw. Stand by me. Yeah. All right. So what I've what have I seen out of you? I've seen like. The only thing I've seen out of you that you would like willingly want to set is Mystic Tomato because everything else is like, uh, what? Scientist, Cyber Dragon. I'm trying to think of like just anything else it could possibly be. Like Monk, Cat. Like you're not going to set any of those. I mean, you could. That just doesn't seem very smart. Air Bellum. Why would you set that? Could be the Sea Koala. Could be the Sea Koala if you uh, brick on it. But all right, here's, here's what we're going to do. Uh, riveting gameplay. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna set two. Okay. And I'll uh, I'll throw it back. So I got a few more than you. Okay. I'll draw for turn. Stand by me. All right, man. It's been Ryko the last few times. It's gonna be Ryko again. I'm gonna activate mind control and I'm gonna try to take it. <laughs> okay. Over to you. Oh, it is. Oh my God. The reads. Insanely good. I will uh, flip some in this Ryko. We'll get a pop. Let's pop this one here. It's a brain control. Oh, it's a bluff is what I hear. Okay. I'll mill three from the top of my deck. What do we got? Three traps, it looks wow. like. Oh, and, and Baylor, Baylor. Which is basically a trap. Okay. Okay. Now you got to do something with this Ryko. I'm, a little, I'm getting mm, it back. How would you... Would you set two bluffs on me like that? Would you, what, are you, what are you doing, you little slime ball? Um, well, I mean, it's not going to... I'm not going to get a better opportunity than this. I have to do this. I'm going to summon the Summoner Monk. He gets shifted sure. defense. And I'll use Summoner he Monk's does. effect. It's Brain Con. That is fine. Okay. No Veilers. I love to see it. The cat's coming down. All right. Cat okay? Yep. Cat. That's fine. Did a bit of pondering, but I, I still think this is the right play. I'm going to go air bellum, air bellum. I mean, that usually seems like the right answer. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to hopefully do a lot here. Mirror Force isn't a real card. Okay, uh, I'll just go battle phase here. Sure. Uh, two. Mind control, you can't attack. You're right. Oh, my God. No, no, I'm missing 200 damage. No. <laughs> I'll take 32. Oh. I'll take All right, 32. And then I get to rip two. One, two. We'll do back to back. Ah! Uh... No, not the shell. No, not the cyber dragon. <laughs> All right, main phase two. I, I got you. Really hoping you'd hit the other one instead of the side. Got dude. you on the ropes now. Um, yep. I'd be losing them anyways. I'll flip up the sea koala. Hey, well, I was right. You, you were right. Koala. I did brick That's on the sea koala. That's hilarious. Uh, That's hilarious. I'll go. I mean, brick, he says. <laughs> I'll go these two. And we'll do um, beast. Real decision is do I just make dust or do I leave beast? I'd probably just leave beast. Beast beats like pot of greed stuff like that beast beats a lot of things yeah. yep. all right so uh i'm gonna do that i'm gonna just leave beast i'll go end phase you can have back the Ryko. and then where does this air bellum go air bellum goes to, goes grave, to graveyard believe. yes okay all right man uh good luck there are cards that do it isn't that fitting what do we got isn't that what's fitting? up what do you got okay okay doesn't even want to pick up the shell <laughs> do you want your shell i'm good uh <laughs> No, no, I like say that's not volcanic shell. Say it's not volcanic shell. No, <laughs> no, I'll draw. Pass the turn. <laughs> Stand by, Wayne. Oh no, you can't activate this. No, I'll draw two. Now you're just taunting me. I know. I'm point. sorry, oh bro. God. Oh my god, that that's gotta fucking suck. <laughs> All right, I'll activate Summoner Monk. We'll pitch this instant fusion we got into. Get going. Yep. Are you grabbing this time? Options are endless again, Alex. I don't, I don't know. Has to be a level four, Alex. I, I, I actually don't have many of those. I don't know if you'd be surprised. <laughs> uh, we'll bring out a, uh, a Mystic Tomato from the deck here. Sure. Okay. I'll put down another one. That's fine. Cool. Uh, this is game. If that is in fact anything poopy, I'll put the Monk to attack and I'll go battle phase. Uh, will Monk guaranteed get over your Ryko? Yep. Tomato get into the face down. 
No. Mm. And then, <laughs> not quite game, but it's a lot. 36, I believe. Yep. Okay. Main two. Take two these two guys, and we'll make Zen Meister. Sure. Not too bad. Your move. I think the craziest part of all this is that I'm still... Oh, no, I'm probably fucked. Okay. I don't know if there's much that oh, gets yeah, you out of it. Yeah, I'm going to be... Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know no, what you got no. there, but I got to defect Valor in hand to beat the scientist of any uh, point, too. Drew all three fucking It is shells. what it is. Unbelievable. What is this face down? Another bluff? It was instant another bluff. fusion. I, I wasn't a bluff. I was playing around your Urbellums because oh, I didn't, didn't want to just get them the ripped cards out. in my That's hand. That's true. I'd rather you rip shells out of my hands. That's true. <laughs> I figured that was That's better. True. But no, I had no way. I have three Valors in this deck. I just never saw them, so there's nothing I can do. You just clearly... That last hit was atrocious. That was so bad. Yeah, I don't know. That, that one just stings with the triple shell. The whole concept with shell with quick draw is that you pitch shell for quick draw, and then you get to search a shell, and then you immediately have a level one to go into drill sink or drill yep. warrior. And then you can just get a, another one on top of it. So you have a discard for the uh, for the drill warrior too to get a monster back and like protect him if you need to. Uh, it's not supposed to happen like this. It's funny because in the first game, I opened two uh, quick draws and no shells. And this game, the opposite problem happened. But yeah, it is what it is. It's the way the game goes. Good games, buddy. I can't be too mad. I can be yeah, kind of mad. Yeah, good games. I, I, I don't know, man. I feel like that game one was really <laughs> wacky. <laughs> I feel like I maybe could have took yeah. this down 2-0, but I'll be happy with the 2-1. You know what? Pretty yeah. good. That's my second win now. I'm, I might be on a Fucking nappies. Shoot, nappies has been I am an so, animal. Bro. I'm so sick of this fucking card. It's funny too because I was thinking I'm I'm on it too. I'm literally playing it if I open glow up bulb. That if I open glow up bulb and I just do the thing where you go carbonella and just summon it. Just because it's that good. Like why I was actually you? really hoping to bring right? out my other Naturia, uh Barkion for this episode here. I figured that sure. one maybe on the right like board texture you might not see it coming and then all of a sudden it just wins the game into a, a setup. But what, what you're playing here, Synchron, I'm assuming is like it's like Synchron pile. I, I bet you play like maybe two traps, right? <laughs> it's just a quick draw deck. So the only trap I'm actually playing, I actually think it's not a, uh, a terrible idea, is I'm on threat. Oh, anymore. to beat like scientists. Uh, so, stuff. I mean, so, yeah, I would have fucked yeah, me Yeah, so up, the whole like... idea was, yeah. So the whole concept was uh, kind of like with Battle Fader, but since I don't have multiple Battle Faders, uh, especially since our decks are like, I told you for the last like several months, our decks are gung-ho, try to OTK like as fast as possible if you see an opening, right? And Threatening Roar is just one of those cards that you're not even going to account for it in the calculus because like we don't play it very often. Um, and so I figure like when you went for the push like with Raiko, right? If I flip Threatening Roar and that Brain Con was a Threatening Roar instead, then like you wouldn't have had the ability to make your push and then you would have done something a bit more conservative and then Tempo would have been like slightly back in my favor because I would have had initiative and so it's an interesting card even though it is technically a neg one but with scientists and everything, I just figure it's not like the worst call so I wanted to try it out. I never got to obviously because it required me to draw the fucking thing but um, but yeah, I mean it's just like a, a quick draw deck you know at its core. There's a lot of just neat stuff. I never got to do the Drill Warrior stuff like you did so I just wanted to give it a shot. And uh, I mean, he won me one game. I, I guess I can't be too mad about that. The problem is with your magical scientist, it's just, it makes your, your the quality of your plays so much higher because you have so many uh, Xyz monsters. And like, you don't need tuners to go uh, into Xyz monsters. You can just vomit your high extra deck onto the field where, I mean, I just don't have the pool that you do to really like take advantage of that. I can't even OTK you with yeah, my magical scientist. It's kind of like, I, I've noticed um, like it, a lot of the cards don't really do anything either. Like you notice it was no. just like a board of Leviathan no. Dragon and like Tyrus, right? But Leviathan yeah. Dragon's 2,500. That's, that's big. <laughs> Tyrus has protection Tyrus is too protection. though. Yeah, yeah. so it's like, even if they don't do too much, like you said, it's just, it's one card that I've summoned and suddenly I've put in three extra monsters that are big on the board. Yeah. Not easy to deal with. No, I get it. Red Thing Roar is also too to like protect my scientists because like that is one of the weak points as well is if you just are ending on like a weak monster because you have like low life and then like Roar, basically you just pass your turn at that point and then you can either scientist again or at least put it into defense, mm -hmm. right? Um, So there's like just some neat applications with it, but it just didn't come up. Yeah, this, this was just, this was wrong. I, you know, everyone's like giving me, uh, giving us shit, I should say, for like, oh, you guys got to stop playing chaos and all this, deck, blah, blah, man. blah. The chaos monsters out, Nat yeah. Beast. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> chaos wins, bro. That's how it's been since the beginning of the yeah. series. I have a proposition. For sure. For sure. Magical scientist, bro, seems only a little bit out of hand. But, but. I believe around season one, Order of Chaos, we decided to to remove him from our card pool. I think we're coming up mm -hmm. on Order of Chaos again. You want to let one more ride out into the sun for Magical Scientist, and then we'll walk into a gentleman? Well, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll uh, decide that before the beginning of next episode to keep the fans on their toes and see what happens there. Speaking of which, uh, keeping us on your toes, what you spent on your wheel, buddy? You've been I've got something I have to, uh, to decide for myself too. I'm gonna need a little bit of information uh -oh. from you. I've gone in the first time for a very long time, bro. I've gotten an wow. unbanned ticket. 
So, so I get to remove okay. something from our freshly adjusted Forbidden and Limitless that we have. I honest to God don't know what to pick, bro. <laughs> Do you have change of heart? Did you get one of those yet? <laughs> uh, I'd have to check for you because honestly, yeah, I have we'll no have to clue. We'll find out. So yeah, we'll see you then. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play MBTPlayMedulce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Phoenix the Immortal, Dan the Man Hoban, Draconic, Jordan Coons, Little Fade Leaf, Chris Hood, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretz, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Dalton, Inuno Taisho, Thanks for the Sleeves Dad, Max, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, I've tried reading cards before, it was horrible, and my guinea pigs had to get me therapy, Helios515, Simo's Chaos Cooking Draft, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community Soon, Cancel Bio Committee Soon, Cancel Bio Players Soon, Corvain, Grey Nine, and Micah Pierce. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.